Hello everybody, hope all is well. Today we're going to talk about how to get rid of this Magento logo here. Magento is an e-commerce platform, it's great. Uh, there's just so much you can do with it. The scalability, and if you're, uh, to put it simply, what WordPress is to blogging, Magento is to uh, e-commerce. Alright, so we're going to talk about getting rid of this little logo right here. So there's a couple of things you're going to need to do. You're going to need cPanel access. You're going to need to log into your Magento admin panel. You're going to need the image that you're going to use. And again, cPanel. First thing we got to do is log in to our administrative end. So in Magento, your administrative end or your dashboard is your domain plus forward slash admin. I'm pretty sure you know that if you're using it. And once you log in, you also want to give yourself cPanel access, uh, sorry, server access. I use cPanel. So to get into cPanel, you just go forward slash your domain, forward slash, and then cPanel. And you get cPanel and you log into your cPanel. And you're logged into your Magento right here. All right, so in Magento, once you're in Magento, you want to go to system. And then you want to go to configuration. And then once you get to configuration, you want to get to the design tab, which is right here. And once you're in the design tab, this is for the Fabicon. We'll cover that in another uh, tutorial. But once you're in the design tab, you're going to see the header and the logo image source. Okay. This is what it is for Magento right now that for that Magento logo to show up. So we're going to have to go on to the server end and replace it with something else. So we need to find out where this image is first. So to do that, you're going to, if you're using Chrome, I would recommend it. You simply right click and then you want to copy the link, the image URL, sorry. Open up another browser and you want to paste that image URL and you want to hit enter. So this is where that logo is on the server. As you can see, it's in the skin folder on the front end default Gala Vineyard images logo.gif. Okay, so we need to find that on the server. So once you're in cPanel, you want to go to file manager and just click on the web root and let's follow this extension. So we have to go to the skin folder. Your Magento is usually in your public HTML file. So you want to click on public HTML. And here you are. You want to click on skin. Remember, it told us to go to skin. And it told us to go to front end. And then it told us to where? Go to default. So you want to go to default. And then it told us to go to that. This is an actual theme, so go into the theme. If you have a theme, your theme will be named in this section right here. So go to your theme. And then you have to go into the image folder of your theme. And there you go. So now we got to find this image. So as you can see, the Magento image is, let's see, logo.gif. Okay, so it's right here. You can delete it. It'll just take it off from the site, or you can just upload the logo you want. Okay. So we'll delete this. This is the logo that I actually had up here. So we'll... We'll delete that, okay, because I already uploaded it. Uh, but for the purpose of purposes of this demonstration, I'll do it live. So you got to look for your image. So in this case, the image that I want to use is this logo right here, logo1.png. Okay. So to do that, you're just gonna in your cPanel, you're gonna hit. Remember, you're still in the. Oops, you're still in. As you can see through the directory here, you're in the images folder of your theme, so you want to choose the file. 
But before we do that, I just want to make sure you know that step. So let's go back to File Manager. Let's exit out of there. And you want to remember, you're in your Images folder of your theme. You want to click Upload, this button right here. And then you want to choose the file. So you're going to look for your logo. Just give this some time. It's best to save it on your desktop. Sorry, my laptop is a little slow today because I have so many windows open. So you want to look for, so this is the logo, logo1.png, right? So you want to hit that, and as you can see, it's complete. It's only 2.6 kilobytes. kilobytes sorry. So you want to close this window, and you get back to your file manager, and you want to hit the reload button. And as you can see, you're going to look for the file, and you have it right here, logo1.png. Okay, so we're not done. Remember this logo1.png, logo1.png. Okay, now let's go back to the theme. As you can see, the Magento uh, logo is still there. So we're going to go back to System, Configuration, and then the Design tab where we left off. And we're going to put logo1.png. So leave this alone. This is just saying recall from the images forward slash logo1.png. Please locate, please pull up this image source. This is the uh, Magento instruction to pull up this image. So you want to save the configuration of your new logo that you just uploaded in your cPanel. and let that work. Then you want to go to your Magento front page, just your domain, and you want to hit the Command R button. This theme that I'm using actually has a visual editor, so your theme might not, so this may not look familiar to you. And there you go, the logo has been changed. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this tutorial, you can follow us at GoPryWeb on a Twitter, and you can also follow us on Facebook. Thank you so much.